it is Hermitcraft time. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server with your goat father, the dog. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know. We'll look at it in a second. I... Uh, what is going on here? What are they doing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm over in the Perimeter Empire. Because every time... What is the barcode? I haven't scanned that. What is going on? Why is there a barcode? <laughs> What? You know, every time I come over here, more and more chaos breaks out. I mean, what is happening? Ah, <laughs> you know, and then I'll, I like to go to my happy place. <laughs> no, it's no longer Scars Park with his annoying service announcements. We will do something about that today. I go and browse fan art. Ah, and today, the most epic fan art of the week. Well, I don't know. It's personal taste. I just, you know, I have no idea how I choose, but this one was so cool. Done by Evil and Profanity, originally posted on the infamous Hermitcraft Reddit. Yes, indeed. Look at it. I, it's just amazing. I mean, what can I say? The color. Look how cool I look, man. You know, I wished I looked that cool in real life, but I wonder what people would think if you walk around... <laughs> green goat, horn, goat horns and a robotic arm I don't know but you know it's pretty pretty freaking cool you gotta admit yeah so anyways as usual check out all the links in the video description right make sure to support our amazing fan artist community they are the best and they deserve your love and support you know if you want to commission some work artwork hollow at them right so yeah, <laughs> with that said, you also cannot forget to uh, support your GOAT, right? Uh, today, um, as we rarely do, but here and there we do, interaction request for the algorithm, because uh, it's always uh, this time of the year, everybody panicking then in the YouTube community, but you know, we are old school, we know the drill. People be back at school and you have a little bit of a view drop around the time of September, October, it's always like that, and so no biggie. But um, that just means the hardcore peeps that f still find the time to watch regularly got to be even more supportive, you know, to tickle the YouTube algorithm a bit. So get some interactions on the video, comments, likes, you know the drill. <laughs> and now, <laughs> let's talk about that. You know, I mean, I had an epic banner uh, and I feel like this might have inspired <laughs> the king. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, it looks like, you know, the grasp of power is slowly but surely, uh, you know, uh, slipping out of Randog's hands and uh, I think, yeah, he's getting more erratic <laughs> with his rules. Thank God we, they don't really apply to us, you know, we'll be independent. <laughs> you, thou shalt only eat gigabytes. <laughs> um... Well, gold carrots are cool too. I mean, nothing particular against gigapies. What is that? Thou shalt not mine diamonds? What? What are these rules? <laughs> Thou shalt not mine diamonds? I highly doubt it, man. I mean, the, our building... Bl what? And what is this? Can somebody take care of that and answer this question for me in the comment section? What is this? What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Um, okay, so what are the rules? You cannot AFK? I've been AFKing all night. I gotta show you my insane iron reserves and also I've been AFK. Well, anyways, well, okay. <laughs> what are these rules? Duh, okay, so here, no party, only eating pies, no AFK. I mean, this server is to, uh, starting to become quite lame <laughs> wait I I'm not happy I'm not happy with this well he didn't come to enforce anything in the perimeter yet what's that there's another gigapie store there's pop up what's this why is there another 
No, what? Dig a pie? What? <laughs> I'm spending really too much time over in the perimeter. All kinds of weird stuff is happening here. Is this a pop-up? Only diamonds accepted as payments. Wait, what? Access. Five diamonds each. Limited stock? What the heck? You are not allowed to use any of your own tools or the wrong tool to break a block. If you find a shulker box, you are allowed to break it with your pickaxe, with your own pickaxe. Uh, there's a total value of around 350 diamonds in the pie? Whoa! 10 boxes, what if you find a box, pick it up and bring it out of the pie. Okay, there are a total of 10 boxes, okay. Okay, and I guess Alright, so, ah, okay, and then you can use it as long as the durability lasts. Wait, let's, let's check, where's the, where do you go in here? Ah, you, ah, you, you chop away the pie. I see. Okay, that's actually really cool. We're in. Already, you know, every time I'm over here, I'm spending diamonds. Oh, okay, let's break open some fresh currency some ore people always ask how much diamond ore do you still have doc and the answer is yes okay um let's pay and let's dig in uh, i mean i'm gonna invest 10 all right i'm gonna buy two of these pickaxes and then um we'll see so i guess five six uses are on them with gold all right so let's have a look. Somebody did some pokey holes here in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Question is, okay, we're gonna use one to create a new poke hole and with another one we extend one existing one. I'm going down here. Wait, what? <laughs> really? <laughs> the crust is hard of this cake. All right, let's see. Okay, there's pumpkin. Pumpkin we can harvest quickly. Wool, all kinds of stuff in here that is annoying to mine. Oh, and there goes the first one. Wow, what a ripoff. Who made this? This smells like Iskal. He always does stuff like that. Oh, what is this? No. Oh, that fell down. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Man. <sighs> Gambling doesn't pay off. Who knows where that stuff is hidden? Some people, be, I guess, been dropping in from the sides here too. <sighs> guess you can write off 10 diamonds. Dang it, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, also we updated to 19.2. Uh, Is there more billboards around, by the way? There's this, that, this gigantic one. Shall not party. I was not involved with any partying. There was a party in his basement. Well, what is that? Resilience assistance? Resistance assistance? What? What is happening? Welcome to Cracks, Green's Resistance Assistance. Consultancy service. Do you have a resistance? Message Green and let's chat one time. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's offering, uh, I guess, psychotherapy now. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm out of this crazy place. Let's go to the perimeter, man. We got things to do. We got things to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait. Our first mission, actually. Let me grab the custom record ID um, command. I. Yeah. 
Government has now concluded its normal yeah. operating day. This has to stop, man. This, this has to stop. Oh, no, 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 no. The worst thing happened. Oh, it's getting dark again. I just logged back in and all of a sudden there was a big explosion. So a creeper... Oh, a creeper walked up on me. I have no idea where it came from. Maybe from inside. There were also holes in the leaves. There was a creeper maybe inside this tree. Oh, no. This is the worst. Yeah, it's totally hollow. Oh. And there's holes like that and the creeper walked up, must have walked up to me. There was none. Mm. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Blew up a huge portion of the tree and now the stuff despawned. Oh my god. Okay, I... That is not part of the plan to grieve Scars Park. To grieve anybody's build is not part of the plan. Okay, I need to come clean to Scar and let him know I blew up a tree unintentionally. <sighs> Dang it. Okay, I'll send him a message on Discord about it. <laughs> But that won't stop us from stopping the madness. <laughs> it just played again. I just turned it off. <laughs> the service message. Now is the perfect time to to re reconfigure the discs. Although it's night time. I don't want to go. No, there's mobs everywhere. I don't want to blow up more. Did I bring a bed? Yes, of course. Oh, I got. I picked up some of the blocks that blew up, but it's not enough. <laughs> I got startled, okay? Ah, oh, man. <laughs> That's always, that always sucks if something like that happens. But we can partially blame Scar because everything he builds is a mob farm. <laughs> oh, dang it, man. Okay, time to sabotage, though. Wait, he has nothing back there. So I know he has three of them. There's, there's one station. <laughs> okay. Yes, one disc. And where's the other two? There's always two discs here, right? Yeah. Okay. So, how this works with the with the disc making is you take the disc, you hold it in your hand like this, and then I copy the command. Boom. Okay. You can throw that one back in. And here, let's do it again. Da da. Okay, so now this is rigged and in this setup I think one disc sits here and one there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Should we change all of them or only partially? That will drive him even more nuts. Yeah, let's not change all of them. Let's only do this ones here. <laughs> then you know my him will play and he will see the damaged tree. Hopefully he doesn't think that is related. <laughs> Uh, hmm. He has another one. Maybe we can partially. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, let's do. Let's do. Let's do one more here, so it randomly sometimes comes up. <laughs> okay, one is here, and then let's. And one setup is further on the back there. Yeah. Okay, up here. Yes. Okay, it was a good choice to do this during daytime. Daytime. He lit up pretty well down here, though to give him. Okay. Yeah, let's take this and do our thing. Cablemo. Back in here. Okay, and do one one here. Like that that one here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then a last one all the way back. Ah! Oh my god. Oh god. God, why did he not remove this yet? <laughs> uh, also, I spent all morning in my test world testing the perfect position um, for the arrow shot. We're getting there. I think I have it slowly but surely all figured out and we can start building the arena here. Here we got another one. Let's do this. All right. Okay. And let's do one on this side. What does he have here? Ah, it's building blocks. Okay. One more on this side. Okay, now. Wait, what? Oh, okay, yeah, it deactivated right away, right? It pulled it out. Yeah, and it, it went in there. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was just, no, no, it's not working. Okay, but it should be working. We're all good. <laughs> yes. Oh, minus the blown up tree. 
that was a really good prank. But now, you know, we said no distractions. I have things to do. I have things to do. I have things to show you. Um, you know, I have to say I had a really great week this week um, playing Minecraft so far and Hermitcrafting. Because slowly but surely Doki is chilling in kindergarten and stays there longer and longer. Mummy is more and more relaxed and daddy is so far so also happy you know because you know things are falling in place it doesn't have to help out so much and support mummy with things because yeah things are just starting to click and therefore i really could play some proper minecraft this week so where do we even start um yeah oh yeah yeah let's first look at our amazing iron supplies that just shows you i've been spending some time right we are on 19.2 now so we can dupe alleys as well and yeah we have to controversial chat reporting now too yeah we updated like the day before yesterday or something i don't know why it was just done <laughs> also there when it was decided um but yeah check this out oh baby wow that's all iron blocks but ha 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 ha, ha. yeah we are <laughs> we're loaded <laughs> even all, all the way up to here with the hoppers <laughs> so the iron farms are working just perfect just perfect and spitting out tons of iron so um yeah we we're good iron wise we don't have to run them all the time added some minor stuff now um i have on off switches here you know we can just pull the lever oh yeah let me show you something cool you point at that and then we go up does it work Yes, see, <laughs> we can flick the lever. I activated uh, being able to right-click while, while in camera mode. That helps to demonstrate stuff. So when we flick the lever... Aha! All right. Turn it on and off. So, yeah, I have these hooked up to all of them. And then, um, yeah, with our iron supplies downstairs as well. Here is a standard item filter that filters out all the poppies and burns them for now. I don't think we should keep them no real reason and then you know the hopper lanes going to the middle for now that's where we have our iron storage and of course the same dealio over there and yeah now we can easily and nicely access this. some crafting table down there to turn it into blocks and stuff so that's a good good setup <laughs> we're getting more and more cats uh, roaming around here um yeah um later as i said i want to have the storage room down here so uh, where we later input the iron into the storage system might be different from what we have now but you know we got something we're actually playing here right we, we gotta access our stuff it's not for show um, as i said we want to build this base that actually is functioning and it's a slow but steady progress today we work back here a little bit i had a cool idea for our b problem i want to take care of today and yeah up here um, on the turtle's back, <laughs> saw your comment say you cannot unsee it. And uh, now, for everybody else that you hasn't seen it yet, yeah, it looks like a turtle shell. <laughs> so you can never unsee this now. But I started um, laying out all the copper all around the turtle up here, uh, which is nice. And I also started to lay out some of the decorative elements we will have here. There's some light in hidden under the moss carpets, of course. That is also importante that we don't have crazy mob spawning and looks like it's all covered and yeah also starting to cover the sides here a bit working my way down to start to decorate the iron farms and yeah here i also started to have some daylight sensors aka our solar panels and you know the details guys this is south here that's the south side over there that means um, yeah we want to have a little bit more density of solar panels on this side so on this area here we have quite a bunch in comparison to the other side minor you know there's a uh, a few less here right and the idea is always like you would say if you build a proper solar array you know you'd stick one in here and cover a whole lot of area our idea is we are like this uh, you know nature boy and we don't want to um, destroy vegetation uh, that is grown there already right so we we just you know whenever we have time throw in a few solar panels uh, in a spot that was empty that's kind of the law right it's not all planned it's all stitched together step by step what we are actually doing we're stitching this thing together and it's also represented by the look of the whole build then in the end right it's a real base built step by step and we add small pieces here and there that is 
the basic plan. So yeah, we got all this going on and then, you know, I've been also spending a lot of time resource gathering, been in the desert forever and, you know, I'm still working towards the big drown farm we want to build and um, that needs so much glass, like 40,000 or something and I have 10 shulker boxes shoveled, uh, but yeah, still still add it, need to smelt it and so on. And then um, I also did some honey collecting and farming. Here is the leftovers of the setup. Um, I bred up a ton of bees <laughs> and um, yeah, they are ready for us back here. Um, yeah, just needed some, some honey blocks and so on for the building project today. So yeah, we gathered that and then we got all these bees and I installed an in, uh, interesting mod, in my opinion, it should be part of the game anyways. Um, it's client side only if you hover over, um, it's bee info or so, something like that. Just look it up, look for bee mod and you'll find it. Um, yeah, um, you know, it shows you how many bees and how much honey there is if you have it in your inventory. You can't see it like if it's placed down, so it's not so overpowered. You actually you have to use your brain a little bit, but it really helps to know, okay, uh, you know, a beehive is full. And yeah, we're going to use a few of them to build a little bee farming setup here, but then I want to build a bee repo repopulation setup. Um, so we will have a giant natural hive here. And from that hive, we can breed uh, bees. And um, yeah, I don't want to have them here. I will have that set up in the nether so we don't lag out the area with too many bees around. And then here and there, you know, we can um, let the bees swarm. And it should look pretty cool when 15, 20 new bees swarm over um, the hall of goat here and there. You know, because even in 1.19.2, the bees are finicky, man. They are just vanishing. I looked around everywhere, can't find them. There's no bees. <laughs> They're dead. So yeah, we need to repopulate. Yeah, so I'd say um, let's get going. Let's get going. So I started off with our first building project for today already here. And I think, yeah, that sits in there pretty well. Hall of Goat on the back side. Um, you know, I want to have this portal here. And we have a bunch of portals going on on the front side already. Here portals are really tight uh, stacked together so this is a perfect place for our bee population system so we will have this portal up here and we will be able to breed them in the nether and then we can bring them over here and they will be stored inside the portal which is locked from here and um, you know then we can just pull the lever and release the bees and the swarm will repopulate the whole um, hall of goat hopefully because, you know, I'm missing my bees out here. You know, every time I see beeps, bees in Minecraft, everything, all that goes on in my brain is... Yeah, yeah. You guys are too young to know that. Leave a comment if you recognized this song. Oh, let's see. Let's see if we got some old school people. Maybe I also performed it so bad that nobody will recognize it. Ah, problems. Anyways, um, let's continue building here. Um, and I want to <laughs> tell you a, a quick little story. Uh, funny. So, you know, I told you, right, Doki is in kindergarten by now and uh, you know every day they stay longer and now they already stay until 1 p.m and have uh, lunch there and so on so all good all good um but of course you know kindergarten is also uh, you know a place uh, for new experiences sometimes it's a rowdy place and yeah Doki had uh, the first incident Doki got bitten <laughs> Doggy got bitten by some random kid, uh, you know, quite a bit. I mean, you know, no skin was broken. Uh, you know, human bite can be dangerous. But it, it left a mark and um, you could uh, even tell the next uh, day uh, there's a nice mark on the forearm. And yeah, um, was the, then Doggy came home, right, picked him up. Obviously, the kindergarten teachers that were there, there uh, were aware of the situation, checked it out, and yeah, nothing bad, you know, like... Doki cried for two, three minutes and then all good, back to plane. 
<laughs> but uh, still, uh, afterwards, then uh, when Doki came home, um, you know, they recaptured the moment in their own language. Uh, of course, it's still a little bit limited, but they can tell what was going on. And they ne ne told the name, so they were snitching, you know, told the name of the kid that bit. And, um, you know... <laughs> Uh, said uh, while we're shaking the fingers no 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 awa awa <laughs> saying this hurts you know the kid shouldn't do that and it's like yeah that's right so you know next time I told Doki when the kid does that just say no no and go away and go to the kindergarten teacher and um, you know let them know and I think Doki uh, got that okay this works we will have a different way to open it but at least this works so <laughs> I mean, it was, you know, the way they told us, you know, how you, how they were hurt and, yeah, and this kid and uh, it, it gets to you. But obviously that's just part of kindergarten time. And, you know, it's not unusual that kids sometimes bite. I learned that now, too. Um, we should probably cover the back here with some glass as well. Yeah, and then for the front we use these. You know, um, there's different reasons for kids biting. There's not necessarily something wrong with the kid. You know, um, sometimes they have a lack of vocabulary, cannot really express themselves properly, and then in a spur of a moment situation when there's tension rising, they bite, uh, quickly bite. And there's no evil intention behind it in most cases. And uh, they grow out of it rather quickly. Um, but yeah, it was definitely interesting to see that Doki could deal with that well. And um, went, you know, happily back to kindergarten the next day. That is something you would be concerned about it then, right? Um, it doesn't mm -hmm. Doki want to go back to kindergarten now if somebody bit them. But um, they're cool. Doki went back in and yeah, we're happy. All right. Um, here we go. That thing is working now. Standard B cell, right? And we have that set up on the top. Let me just quickly grab some grass and close it off. And then we can also light it up already. And then we have to go to the nether and find uh, the perfect coordinates. Hopefully that all works well with all my portals hanging out here. Um, and we don't have any big issues. All right. So yeah, last bit cap it off and the trick we're gonna use is uh, you know what we want to do is we want to breed the bees in the nether then we want to bring them over and we want to see when they swarm out right so we come here and then while we're here we open up and then we can see the swarm and um, yeah they won't uh, go back to the nether if we keep them like this uh, because yeah they are um, cooldown timer right for the portal uh, only starts when they actually leave the portal blocks and they will be trapped inside here all the time so um, yeah that shouldn't be an issue they should just stay here then until we arrive and then we can release them maybe we can you know if it's not so bad with the leg we can keep some here that we can regularly release them I'm trying to to figure out how bad it is with the bees around here then so yeah that's that. Now I need to note down these coordinates perfectly and hopefully get a connection over on the nether side. All right, let's go to the nether side. Things are looking bright. Well, it's it's always a bit dark in the nether, but our building project is coming along well. So here we go. I started here a little bit. I mean, yeah, it's very simple. It's just simply uh, three wide um, yeah, nether gate, right? And um, yeah, that's about it. Here we have a fence. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks away from these. And that is just far enough that bees that we were going to lead up here are not going to make it uh, over there. And when we're done with the breeding, you know, we just do this, flip the lever, come over here, hold flower in our hands and all the bees will go through and then be trapped on the other side until we release them. That is kind of the idea. So now we want to have um, a cool little system to get in and out. And I was just uh, about to assemble that. Just forgot the mine carts. But that's pretty cool. A uh, safe way to get in and out um, without bees being able to do so as well. So, you know, uh, to go in, we just do this. Boop, and then we're up here. And if we want to go out again, we just do this. And then, um, you know, we can exit here. Obviously, we need to encase the whole thing now fully with glass. And then I'll bring some beehives over. And then we can start test reading and see if everything works. Uh, the portal connection seems all right if we go through here. 
um, we come out at our future beehive destination, which is, um, yeah, what we want from this setup, right? All right, I got it all boxed in now, fully enclosed, brought a bunch of beehives over, a bunch of leads, and now we can try out if everything works. So, okay, our way in works, and we're inside, completely enclosed, just double checking that I didn't forget a block or so. Okay, yeah, that looks solid. All right, uh, bees. I want, uh, do bees even come out of their hives in the nether? Good question. I guess we'll find out. Yes, they do. Important is always use silk touch when you break their hives or they will be mad. Right? I learned the hard way while breeding. <laughs> uh, okay, so those guys we will lead up here. And now even if they really try hard, they cannot ever reach this portal when we open it. Okay, cool. Um, okay, we released one. Yeah, zero bees in here. Okay, let's release more, but we want to do it in a controlled way. Okay, get those guys out. Probably lead them up first. One, two, three. Okay, and then carefully break this thing. Don't hit any of these guys. Okay, empty. Hmm, how many bees do we want to have here in the end? Bunch. And those guys are not coming out, but there's bees in there, right? Three bees, yeah? Alright. Hmm. The others were primed and ready to go. Okay, let's place this guy here. Yep, okay. Oh, I heard some popping over at the other hive here. Boom, lead them down. Where are the free flying ones? This guy is free flying, right? Yeah. And this guy. No, it ain't. Alright. Only one came out of this hive here. Well, they take their time. Okay, so this is empty hive. Good. Oh, there's another one. Hello. Alright, 18 beans are beans. <laughs> 18 bees are in there now. That is good. And if we hold our flowers up, they all want to come to us. Okay, and then we just do this. We go in, breed them. And there will be more bees. Okay. Whoops. Okay, and then our flowers and stuff we can put in there. There is one, there is one, there is one. Okay, B, 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 B here. Oh, yeah. That's working. It's fun, <laughs> you know. Next time I should probably also count how many bees I fed. Oh yeah, small one here. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to have much more bees here to breeding uh, for breeding. Otherwise, it would get really chaotic. All right. I think that's good for the first batch. And then we would just come over here and... Uh, no, try to click on them. Oh, they're pushing me. Minecart. No, oh, that's a flaw in the system. Okay, we did it. <laughs> okay, we got a bunch of baby bees in there now. And if we stand here now with our flowers in our hand, that should yeah, make all these bees want to come over here. There's one baby bee, two of them. Oh my god, you know, that's the thing with the... Like bees, they always find a spot where they can get stuck. And this bee, as this fence post attached to here, really went in here. Wow. And for the other ones, it's working fine. Okay, let's see if we can free that. That's a, that's a tiny flaw. Maybe we can somehow improve that. Let me see. Let's get in here. Are they, like, really stuck or what? Like, they're super stuck. Hey. They can't... What? Are they stuck between the knot? I mean, eventually when they grow up, they will get out of there. But this is, this is you know, that's what I'm saying. That's uh, Bee management and bee handling is the worst. Okay, let's put the flowers away. Can you let me... <laughs> Click! 
No. Please, leave me be. Oh, that unintended pun. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So those are stuck. Uh, when they grow up, they will be able to get out. It's We can live with that. Okay, let's have another look. Are they still stuck? Yeah. <laughs> Locked in place. Now it's three. Oh my god. Okay, I need to do something about this. How I need to put something there where it does so the fence doesn't connect. That might help. That's ridiculous. Wait. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That's really ridiculous. Okay, anyways, let's put that here. And uh, yeah, now we could flick our lever. Hop. Right, and hold that here. And all the little bees are buzzing. Well, the ones that can reach went through. Yep, they're in. Cool, 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 cool. Now we do this. Close it again, and then we go ahead. Can we reach this chest? No, we would have to go in. Okay. So probably I'll just put another random chest here to store the breeding flowers. And that's... <laughs> my god. Like, seriously? <laughs> it one made it out again somehow, I think. Okay. Well, uh, I'll, I'll try if we detach that and it put, let's say, a honey block there or something. If they can find their way out, but this is just classic bee behavior. Maybe we just extend afterwards, make it a bit one block longer. <laughs> oh man. Um, okay, we should have a bed yonder. Let's hop into it and sleep. Uh, yeah, through some trash. Ah, yeah, I can already see bees in the portal. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Yep. Cool. It worked. That's nice. And they're gonna stay in there. They're not gonna go back because, well, they're always inside the portal block. Although, with those little ones, I'm not 100% sure now again with the hitboxes if it always intersects. But I'm pretty sure it would. If not, well, another lesson learned here with the bee breeding, then we would just wait. They are really tiny. Let's have a look. Uh, in theory, I think they can get out of the portal. Yeah, if they're tiny like that. So they might be going back. Okay. So maybe we have to wait until the bees grew up. Right. Um, that is uh, the plan then, if this fails now. Okay. Cool. But they're in there. Now, let's say we want to let the swarm fly out. It's a little small test swarm here. They will not make survive here for too long. Whoops. Man. I have to... Some of my settings got changed. I think my mouse sensitivity or so, when we updated to 19.2, got to check. Here, the honey farm is also working. This bee is kind of trapped, as it looks, but it should be fine. Okay, let's test. So, for now, I have the lever down there. I will have it at a different place later. We open up. Way the bees are free. And then of course here we will have some construction and now they are stuck here and later I will be able to release them from a little bit further up so we actually make them fly up and populate. Alright, let's see if we can get the bees to follow me. Oh yeah, I have the flowers still. Where did they all go now? <laughs> huh. Ah. All right, all right. They're all trying to hang out <laughs> around these beehives now. All right, yeah, later they won't be able to access it. It's all open right now. Later they won't be able to pass find there. All right, let's see. But if I'm here with my flowers, right, then I can just guide them around and repopulate stuff here. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, and this was a small swarm. You know, later we can breed more and then release like 30 or so and it will look really cool. Okay, I'm I'm pleased. I'm pleased. A few uh, small kinks here and there, but we pretty much winged this setup, you know, and uh, for that it turned out great. I think what I'm going to do is now I go back to the nether and it just extend our box to the back by one so that they don't have this, you know, fence post connection issue there and can get stuck there. That should fix that. 
For a little change of pace, I am taking you to one of my test worlds and this is actually, what is this over there? Oh yeah, I tested the wood farm here, I think. That's different, different farming designs for wood, yeah. But mainly this is the world where we test the arrow cannon. And you know, I was trying to figure out the perfect positioning for either Scar and I and I needed to find out the perfect lethal spot. From where on out does the arrow cannon become lethal pretty much. And yeah, here is uh, the safe spot. <laughs> exactly here. And um, anything beyond here, so everything here is kill shot. So Scar would be here, I would be there. I can stand raised two blocks like this so when we build a little shooting arena, I think yeah that uh, will work nicely because if you have another additional block to build. When we stand like this, the arrow will hit you in the feet, and we all know the feet are the most uh, you know vulnerable <laughs> area to hit, right? Even Achilles got uh, taken down by a shot in his yes Achilles heel. So there you go. So yeah, we have a bit of wiggle room, and yeah, of course uh, we can stand here or anything further west pretty much so we could we could also say hey let's do a, a long range duel but you know i was feeling somewhere around here ish if we'd stand somewhere around here that would feel nice and you know three two one boof shoot and for now my plan is this um, to activate our remote um, arrow right our remote uh, redstone we can use something like that uh, normally we had our daylight sensor here and we just placed it right and that triggered the whole thing but we can also set the daylight sensor to night mode and have a piston on top and if we do this bam now the arrow would be triggered if yeah see shoot <laughs> it's a command block they are telling us um, the signal reached but yeah it's not charged at the moment um, but if it would be charged um, you know we would annihilate now this armor stand here the first one in line so yeah that's all good so i was thinking i might end up using something like that bow give me a bow real quick all right and then um yeah so we hit a target block and that is long enough to actually send the proper signal through see we get a signal bam and that is what we need to trigger the remote shot. So I was thinking I have a target block somewhere, maybe integrated in our arena design, right? That looks insuspicious because target block is target block and we are in a bow duel. Maybe that could also be, yeah, we'll see, something like that, right? And then I'll stand here and then draw your bows, get ready, poof, I miss Scar, but in reality I hit, uh, you know, the um, target block and that triggers the ultra shot and then we just obliterate him. That is my basic plan, my basic idea to set it up. So yeah, you know the distance, distances now, this is the minimum distance we can be, that red sandstone block there and Scar would be over there, standing right here, next to the daylight sensor pretty much. So let me know what do you think, this is a, is this a decent distance for arch duel? quick draw duel you know we go three two one pull and then um yes i think something like that i think that should work and you know we can't miss when he stands in the spot we can't miss the arrow will shatter shatter him to pieces and we'll of course load more arrows just to be sure in case he does play some dirty tricks tries to hold the totem off and dying um, we will just ban that um, shield is also banned but we would be ready to handle that too we also have the multi-shot option right we could if he's holding a bunch of stuff it doesn't matter and one arrow arrives after the other at the, but at the same tick and it would eliminate armor totems of undying and then kill shot so there's no way to survive it even if it would try hard but yeah as we set the rules we just say full armor you bring your best armor you can get or something like that and then um yeah we will see let me know uh, what you know requirements i should ask scar for um you know what armor what does make sense we need to make sure he feels like strong and he can't lose this
that's the goal. I just spread up about 20 to 30 bees and I loaded the hive. <laughs> That's what I've been working on, uh, as you saw in the time lapse. So, yeah, and also, yeah, I removed a little bit more of um, Mambo's slime farm here. That still hasn't produced anything. So, yeah, last time I said I'm gonna make a, give him a one that is a hundred times better, um, which technically is true. But you guys rightfully commented, well, 100 times 0 is still 0. So, yeah. <laughs> but the ones we give him in, in exchange works well, as you know. So, yeah. Uh, no distractions. Here is the hive. And the idea now is, you know, obviously we have this uh, theme going on that we had this ancient temple and nature is partially taking over and so on, overgrowing being there and it's this symbiosis between order and chaos and nature and so on and law wise what happened here is um, the bees uh, you know settled here for hundreds of years and the hive kept on growing and growing and growing it's kind of uh, the main hive of the area here and you know over the hall of goat more and more of these small little beehives are spreading out right here in front and so on and we will have more on top so those are kind of small little colonies of the main beehive and as you know we have this main issue that our bees constantly vanish i mean i don't want to overdo it with bees here but a few would be nice and yeah now we have our repopulation mega hive and um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty cool. Here is the gate. Um, let's have a peek inside. Oh yeah, <laughs> that looks good. And now, you know, all of them grown up. That means they can no longer, um, wait, what was that? Ah, yeah. That means they can no longer like, you know, transfer back and forth. Although I think it didn't happen with the small ones as well. I have to check a little bit, but um, I think it didn't happen. But I played around with the redstone a bit and released a few bees, so I was not sure uh, what was going back and forth here or something, right? But yeah, we got the bees in there. And of course, also our bee farm set up below. Before we release the bees, I want to show you the way um, to go in the sys setup. So it will be behind here. Somewhere here we will have our throne as well. Uh, I pulled down the wall a little bit to kind of frame it in. Right, that's what kind of bees and wasps and so on would do. They would find a, a hole in a structure and then create their hive in there. And the natural beehives look kind of like that, brownish. It's a paper-like uh, structure they create. I mean, we were mixing uh, animals here a little bit, wasps and bees and stuff. But, you know, and normally they pick what's in their surrounding um, and it reflects a little bit in the color of their hive as well. But I think uh, it turned out really cool. It sits in there nicely. You know, honey is flowing out everywhere. And um, yeah, also here to the bottom. And I think it uh, turned out really cool. It looks nice using these glass panes here, you know, simulating the honey dripping down a bit. And yeah, here is a big blob. And then um, there is one of the water elevators here in the corner. And we can just swim up and get into the hive where we got all the action going on. Here is our normal beehive setup right where we can just you know have things running and yeah i have it activated now for a bit and it seems to be working just fine producing honeycombs and bottles and whatnot that's what we need and it's not too many entities around at uh, any given time it's just a few and um, that's that's all right i guess only in the morning right when they first come out again then uh, most of the bees are present here Sometimes there is some posi positional fighting. Seems this bee wants to go that way, this bee wants to go this way. But uh, overall, yeah, setups like that works fine. As you see, just went into the hive. So yeah, uh, it's also nice, you know, with the sound effects here. We have the bees buzzing as we have a little bit of action here in the beehive with the farm most of the time. So it also sounds and feels alive a bit. Yeah, and now I would say let's release some bees and try out how that works 
Um, let's see if they fly out of there. I have a um, lever there, hidden lever. I think that's all right. You don't really see it much. And it uh, could also be a branch that is sitting there and sticking out a bit. Okay, I hold my... What did it... Did it just buzz when I moved the flowers? Okay. Um, release the swarm! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, if you have a little bit of phobia of bees being in your face, yeah, that surely serves it well. Wow, okay, that is a lot of bees. We released them. Are all out? Yes, okay, they all made it out. Let me quickly get up here. I'm sorry, bees. Oh. Whoops. You didn't see that. <coughs> Nobody saw that. Okay, now we need to be we don't want to punch any bees here. <laughs> we don't want no bee aggression. Okay, but the bees are following me. <laughs> Some are sticking around, free roaming. I hope they will not all get stuck in the hole down. Oh, me falling down here was not so great. Oh man, yes. Swarm out, bee friends. Repopulate. Um, I think I should put the flowers away and just see what they're doing. Are they tracking the beehives inside there? No. Checking out some flowers. Nice, look at that. <laughs> it looks so lively. Enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> we have to do that uh, on a regular basis. All right. I'm spreading out some beautiful, beautiful beehives around the turtle's neck <laughs> or back. Okay, this goes here. Oh, this connects there a little bit. That is not something we want, actually. Mm. Although I can live with it. Or, the absolute best solution, put another beehive here. <laughs> oh man, it takes so long to farm these beehives, you know, just planting birch trees all the time. I got a bunch from flying around and scouting. But yeah, here you go. <laughs> spread out a few more beehives maybe yeah then we can take this one out here so we don't have two so close together but um, yeah the idea of course would be that um, yeah and, and then we put a stone here in return yeah it's good the idea of course would be that the bees then you know <coughs> maybe track from f from bush to bush and then you know slowly spread out and get back into their beehives then survive for a day or two and then they're gonna be gone again <laughs> that's that's pretty much it but it's quite a bunch now around the whole um, hall of gold <coughs> got three more here and then you know the ones we had in front here anyways but by the way it's not even 20 minutes later maybe maybe half an hour i helped get ducky to bed or maybe even an hour let's say but I've been AFKing here and do you see any bees of the 30 bees we just released somewhere around here? I mean, where are they? What happens to them? You know, I already have suspicion that they might uh, end up over here and uh, die on, on Mambo's farm. But it seems they cannot even die hovering on there because one is here and it's stuck here since, I don't know, since forever didn't move but all the bees we released not like an hour ago are again completely gone this is i don't <laughs> i don't get it man whoa hey <laughs> how's it going dude heard you had a bee problem man are, it's not even funny missing. look man like i have the mother hive back there wait where is back there oh yeah here this way uh-huh and i just had a swarm of 30 bees coming out of it Right? Yeah. Not even an hour ago, I would assume. Roughly like that. And none of, like, I can't find any <laughs> of the bees anymore. I don't know where they're going. Like, I, I thought <laughs> they maybe die over at Mambo's uh, slime farm. There's no, it, okay. it, they're gone. Yeah. They don't. They don't die there. They're just gone. That's weird, man. I do know a place where there are a lot of bees. Where? Uh, there's a mountain just to the, I think, south of the Crassel. Mm -hmm. where there's like a congregation of bees for some reason. Like, I'm talking a hundred bees, at least. Yeah, there's a bunch of them are up there. Look, yeah, here, up there on the hill. Wait, a hundred bees oh. are there? Yeah, it's a lot. It's a, it's quite a lot. 
I was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so South of the Crassle, you say, okay, I'm going to try to find yes. that. Yeah, I, I, if you want to wrangle those bees, go right ahead, because that, that's that's wild, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know why these went away, though. That's, that's strange. You know, I, I was watching the... You know, I was thinking somebody's pranking me and stealing my bees all the time. <clears throat> but I was oh, here, yeah, there was nobody. Nobody took the bees. Hmm. They just vanished. I come back from hmm. eating my pizza, bees gone. Hmm. That's strange, yeah. man. That's strange. Yeah, I heard you wanted some Giga Pies, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Always down yeah, for yeah, a good sure. deal. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's one, uh, two sacks for one diamond. Is All what, right. What the price is. Uh, I got quite a few here. Uh, if you want to take a few. Okay. What? Why? What? Why are you selling me pies? Yeah, these these are mandatory. Uh, eat eats. These are mandatory foods now, on the server. I don't know if you know this or not. The king I mean, has mandated that you have to you have to eat these giga pies. Well, the laws don't apply to me. I'm in the perimeter, but I saw the signs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, but I mean, I, you want to eat them anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a good deal. Yeah. I'm taking advantage of your weird laws, but what yeah. the? Okay, okay. One diamond, two diamond, three diamonds, four diamonds, five diamonds, six diamonds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, inventory full. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you for your business, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Shady. You know this is shady, right? This is really... What is the bigger picture? It's just because... All right. I, I'll find out, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I mean, to be honest, Doc, uh, Ren is supposed to be selling these, but I'm just... <clears throat> I'm, I may be undercutting his business. So, like, really... You're helping me, you're helping the kingdom, and you're complying with the law. So I, I think I think it's good. I didn't I like the complying with the law a bit, but let's say, you know, as you're undercutting him, I think it feels right to bite him. All right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. All right, man. <laughs> See you later. All right, dude. See you soon. Bye-bye. All right, I, I guess. Yeah, that was completely... Oh, there's a bee. Oh, went into the hive. Hey, did you make it all the way over here? That's amazing. Wait, is there more up front here? Because there's maybe some... Mm, no. <laughs> it's really fishy, but you know, I was uh, running low on food anyways. So why not buy them Giga Pies? Hmm. Is there string attached? You know, you never know. Like when, when crazy stuff like that happens and, and kings and people are rising up and things are... You know, you never know what to get dragged into. Now probably somebody's gonna come after me and snipe me because I eat some pie. You see, that's what you get when you live next to Mr. Disney Assassin. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Let's put my beehives away and um, keep cracking. Well, I just did a bit of editing and uh, realized that we are approaching the ominous one hour mark again on this episode. And I don't know if I'm really stretching it with these super long episodes here. <laughs> Hard to tell. Maybe I need to tighten up the editing and cut more stuff out. I don't know. But yeah, I just enjoy the laid back feel and, you know, enjoy hanging out it's just what it is and i've been hanging out more here on the server finishing kind of the interior here um yeah i just got in a groove kept on building and we have a nice 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 portal here now i love this shape how it flows i will put a similar one over there and yeah just looks great and i thought right in our makeshift spirit here obviously we took advantage of the age old beehive here and have pipes and stuff going on everywhere and we're processing things here we're making candles here's the hot molten um beeswax and we have a centrifuge there right and piping going on and um, yeah and a bee <laughs> that is sitting there not angry not unintentionally killed one <laughs> and yeah some more stuff you know it's just some some life some some big pipes going out pumping the honey somewhere it's dripping everywhere it's sticky in here when you walk on the floor and yeah you have honey flowing over uh, everywhere down there there's big tanks maybe down there who knows what all kinds of crazy stuff is hidden in the hall of goat and i think it turned out really cool now got some roots coming down and stuff right pipeage yeah a little optical illusion trick here as it is kind of tricky to get pipes to connect nice uh, sideways you can stack them 
behind each other like this and from certain angles now it really looks like this pipe is going bent like that. You want to have some interesting angles and some interesting looks, nooks and crannies here and then also some functionality obviously have a bunch of storage space here now where I will be able to store all the bee products when I restock the farm here and you know get some more honey out of it and so on. Yeah, but I think this turned out really cool in here now. It looks really neat and cozy and yeah, completes the big hive build, which uh, was a very enjoyable build. I, I loved, I love this build. It's, it's so nice and cozy. And yeah, it will blend in nicely here when we put more foliage up and yeah, it uh, will all come together. I'm enjoying myself greatly at the moment, working on the Hall of Goat with you guys together. Always keep feedback, right? Very important. Um, I think next episode we should be ready for the duel with Scar. You know, it's a big moment, uh, so I want to make sure everything is uh, uh, watertight and we have it all. You know, it's a one one shot, right? Pretty much. <laughs> the video is a one shot and this shot is also one shot. If it fails, well, the whole, yeah, it flops, right? So we got to make sure we get everything nailed down. I will do a bit more testing just to confirm. Then uh, next episode, we'll rig everything and maybe we can do a test shot on the server here beforehand just to be double and triple sure. I was a bit in panic mode when 1.19.2 came out and when we first tested um, the cannon, something didn't work and uh, yeah, really was a stressful time. But then we figured out what the problem was and thankfully the cannon is still functioning. You never know. The weirdest stuff breaks in these updates. Um, I can give you... One example, uh, where you really want the man... Ah, you have these cool quirky things and then update comes and out of the blue bl breaks something. So right here, right, we had this cool setup. Um, this infinite mob storage chamber with uh, integrated individual separation. So we could name our creepers for the TNT cannon, uh, charge creepers, right? And yeah, what do you know? This thing broke now. Um, yeah, I can, can show you real quick. When we use the trident and activate the creeper farm. Okay, so um, you know, I had this functionality here that I could let the water go through and then uh, we will send the creepers up there and um, yeah, nicely store them. Look what happens now. It's really, really annoying. Okay, anything else works. Creeper package comes up and they no longer get bumped <laughs> uh, by. The slime there, um, yeah, and uh, eventually <laughs> creepers will start shooting out of the system. So yeah, I guess uh <laughs> we have to modify that slightly to fix it again. Let's better turn it off before we get more creepers uh, hitting us like crazy and hitting us here. Oh no, I'm getting, I'm. Um, it's a little, little bit panic inducing. Okay, okay, focus. Get your shot right. Here we go. Turn it off. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, and I can also hear the slime taking some damage right now. It's suffocation damage from the entities being there. Let's go away and despawn him. But yeah, this is this, this weird stuff, right? Who would expect something like that to break? But, you know, we'll find a fix for it. As in most cases, um, you know, Mojang also thought they're gonna patch update um, suppression for good. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. There's more to come. Alright. See you next time. Bye.